using your Invitrogen ELISA kit. In this video, we will show you how to use a typical ELISA kit. However, before proceeding, be sure to check the kit-specific protocol for each assay. Let's start with what comes in your ready-to-use kit. Inside the box, you'll find a pre-coated ELISA plate with the capture antibody already absorbed to the bottom of each well. You'll also find standards and all the needed buffers and reagents to run the assay. Open the foil pouch to remove the plate and remove any eight well strips that will not be needed for the current run. Unused strips can be rebagged and stored at two to eight degrees Celsius for future use. To prepare wash buffer, let the wash buffer concentrate reach room temperature and mix to dissolve any precipitated salts. Dilute the concentrate in deionized water as instructed in the protocol. Reconstitute one vial of protein standard by following the provided instructions. Handle the protein gently and do not pipette up and down when first adding the buffer. Simply swirl and invert five times or very briefly vortex and let the standard sit for at least 10 minutes to ensure complete reconstitution. Perform a one to two serial dilution of the standard. Start by adding the appropriate amount of assay diluent into each tube. Then add the appropriate amount of reconstituted protein into the first tube. Mix thoroughly by pipetting up and down and changing pipette tips between tubes. Add standards, controls, and samples to the ELISA plate. Note that some samples may need to be pre-diluted and some protocols may call for a sequential or co-incubation step with the detector antibody. We will show an example of a co-incubation protocol. Dilute assay buffer concentrate with distilled water. Dilute biotin conjugate concentrate with assay buffer. Add biotin conjugate to the ELISA plate. During this step, the biotin conjugated detector antibody will bind to the antigen at a different site than the capture antibody, creating a sandwich. Cover with an adhesive seal and incubate the plate. After the incubation is complete, either wash the plate manually or use an automated plate washer. To wash manually, fill the wells with wash buffer. Allow it to soak as recommended in the protocol. Then decant by inverting the plate over a sink or container and shaking the fluid out. Repeat the wash steps according to the protocol. After the last wash step, invert the plate and tap it dry against an absorbent paper towel. Do not allow the wells to dry. This washing step will be repeated throughout the protocol. After washing away unbound detection antibody, prepare streptavidin HRP by diluting the concentrate in assay buffer. Then add streptavidin HRP to the plate. In this step, multiple streptavidin binding sites may be present on each biotin-labeled antibody molecule, leading to an enzymatic amplification signal. Incubate the plate as recommended in the protocol. Wash the plate as previously described to remove any excess enzyme. Add the chromogenic substrate. The intensity of the color developed is proportional to the amount of protein present in the sample. Incubate the plate at room temperature in the dark for 30 minutes. To stop the enzymatic reaction, add stop solution. The solution will turn yellow. Measure the absorbance at 450 nanometers using an appropriate plate reader. Congratulations, you are now done with your ELISA. For more product information, go to the link on the screen. Or for technical questions, email our technical services team at invitrogenimmunoassays at thermofisher.com.